Hey, what's going on guys? Mike from the Red Collectors. And today we're gonna discuss why light gun games make a perfect fit for the Nintendo Switch. Stay tuned. Standard televisions today cannot use light guns anymore. In the late 90s and early 2000s, LEDs and LCD TVs were not a thing. Households in North America and across the world, you typically had a CRT in the family room or somewhere around the house. CRTs are cathode ray tube televisions and the positive thing about these CRTs for us gamers was being able to play retro consoles directly on them with proper color and resolution, but also the ability to play light gun shooters on them. For those of you who are too young to know what a light gun is, envision a Wiimote or a television remote that can be pointed directly at your television and it would follow your light gun's movements one to one. It was a technological marvel in those days, but as years passed and technology evolved, flat screens took the place of those heavy CRTs. And the ability to use light guns disappeared until the Nintendo Wii. The Wii used a light bar to track movements of the Wiimote and make it possible to use the Wiimote as a light gun on new age flat screens. Fast forward to the Nintendo Switch. The Nintendo Switch is released with Wiimote-like controls named Joy-Cons. But rather than a sensor bar, the Joy-Cons use gyroscopic movement to track your on-screen movements. Games like 1-2 Switch and World of Goo make good use of the gyroscopic controls to show a one-to-one -one movement. Back to World of Goo and Shadow Bug. The World of Goo is a remastered game that fit perfectly on the new Nintendo Switch. Its simple controls and gameplay prove that gyroscopic controls can actually follow your movements almost flawlessly. Now enter light guns. So since the World of Goo and Shadow Bug prove that these controls can be used and possibly be perfected, can we still say that light guns are back? Well, yes and no. You see, for this gyroscopic technology to work, developers will need to want to use it and therefore require Nintendo to play along with them. The positive thing is Nintendo now seems to have opened up a play nice mentality with these developers whom want to use their technology for the betterment of the family gameplay. Another issue arises though. Gyroscopic controls only mimic movement. Unlike the Wii, there is no pointer on screen. So seeing where you're pointing isn't an option, but maybe developers can put a pointer on screen, therefore showing the player where the focus you're fired to. Light gun games have been gone, but there's still so many games that would make a perfect fit on the Nintendo Switch. Games like Point Blank, House of the Dead 1 and 2, which is actually getting a remake for the Nintendo Switch. So they're trying to do something a little bit of original. So maybe their new patent of the way the Joy-Con is now bent and looking like a gun, maybe that is what's gonna go one-to-one -one with the House of the Dead series. Time will only tell. More games that would fit perfectly. Time Crisis, Virtual Cop, Area 51. Lethal Enforcers, Silent Scope, and of course, Duck Hunt. Each game delivers unparalleled action at the end of every bullet. Nintendo Switch will see no problem porting over these games. The only thing that may stop Nintendo is other companies from bringing their IPs to the Nintendo Switch. You see, if the House of the Dead collection doesn't sell well, many companies may realize that light gun games or on-rail shooters are a long shot. Is the success of the House of the Dead collection going to bring more developers to port their games to the Nintendo Switch? My next guess is that hopefully Nintendo will patent their Joy-Cons and bring them actually forward to, so we can get something like this, where we could point and shoot on screen and hopefully get some one-to-one -one movement and showcase what great first-person shooters actually are and what we are actually missing from the current landscape of gaming. Let me know what you guys think. Please like, comment, subscribe. Thanks, guys.